The latest government reports tell us that expats will be getting the opportunity of vaccination alongside ties, based on age and medication. With plans to set up a registration system for non-ties this month, that's got to be good news. And for the latest figures, we go over to Bangkok. Today we have new confirmed cases standing at 1,911 cases and nine cases are from state quarantine. This leaves us at active cases at 29,680 cases, 1,073 cases still in critical conditions. There are 356 cases on ventilators and we have more new recoveries today than new infections. New number of fatalities. Today we have standing at 18 new cases. The count by province included the top five as Bangkok with 739 new cases, Nontaburi 273, Samut Prakan 143, Chomburi 76 and Samut Sakorn with 65, with the situation in the capital considered critical. Private hospitals will be able to offer the Moderna vaccine via an arrangement with the government pharmaceutical organisation who will get it from importers, according to the CCSA yesterday. If you go private when you can, prices are expected to be around a 3,000 baht mark for the total of two shots over a period of time. And hospitals are said to be agreeing on a fixed price to avoid gouging. A shortage of containers and the massive hike in price for those that can be found has seen, amongst other businesses, Thailand's rice exports fall by 23% in the first quarter of the year. The end result will be that it's expected farmers will see a drop in price too. All forms of export are seeing problems, as Covid has seen international exports dwindle, and empty containers stacked in areas such as China, Australia and the UK with nothing to load into them. Rice exporters predict an increase, though, especially as competitors in India are seeing issues that make their product less desirable and harder to transport. Police in Nan province were searching with sniffer dogs over the week, looking for a missing woman. An American man has since been arrested, charged with killing his pregnant wife and dumping her in a garbage bin. The bin was found in a field. 32-year-old Jason Matthew Bolzer had already run away but was nabbed near Chiang Mai where he was charged with murder. Meanwhile at home and in our own region, city teams worked to clear fallen trees and even building fronts that were torn down in Thursday morning's early storms. Friday morning today saw more of the same but not quite so vicious. However, trees and debris remain on local and B roads, so beware when driving. Power cuts and internet cuts occurred again last night, leaving some areas without supply. The various companies were working to restore that this morning. The Chonbury Department of Public Health confirmed 76 new COVID cases yesterday, as many have noticed the closure of numerous small clinics and surgeries. In at least one case, a patient with a non-COVID-related illness later tested positive for COVID and the surgery was asked to close for 7 to 10 days and undergo a full clean. Concern then for small medical facilities. And a quick check in just one soy, Nurmplab 1, found none open. Yesterday, Banglumung area saw 25 new cases, top of the provincial list, ahead of Chonbury with 19. With all pubs, clubs and diners closed, one driver made an unexpected entrance to the loft pub out at the lake. No one's quite sure if he was under the influence or wanted to be, but one way or another... The car left the road at such a high speed it damaged not just another vehicle, but also wrecked a complete brick wall. The reminder's out that regardless of methods of entry, booze sales are prohibited on site in our province. But this driver at least ended up with a better headache than most endure after a heavy night. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing, and the Met Office promising highs today of 30 dropping down to 27, and the promise of storms at some time. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel. 
fabulous Patia Media Group by using the link below.